Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today we are going to be taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars The Bad Batch Shuttle and customizing it to make it oh so much better. Now before we continue this video, I encourage you all to go check out part 1 where we cover how to customize all the Bad Batch minifigures like the ones down there and make them look really kind of awesome. And also while you're at it, remember to hit the subscribe bell. I would really appreciate it. It would just mean the world to me. We're gunning for 25,000 subscribers, so obviously every sub would be appreciated. But with that said, we're going to get right on into it. Now obviously these fixes are going to be more structural, so I'm going to move those figures away. And I actually want to start with Crosshair Speeder. Now you guys know I absolutely hate stud shooters, I actually ran a whole campaign to get rid of them. Uh, so we are going to be getting rid of those in this particular build. So first off, you obviously need to remove the stud blaster here. Uh, and then the next step that you are going to want to do is fill in this piece that you took off right here with a nice little black piece and you just fit that right there. And then after that, all you have to do is put in this nice little blaster. Now this is a design I believe from Sanders 3 Studios, uh, but it is quite an easy and simple fix. Obviously, you know, stud shooters are not the best looking things in the world. So I think this is a really simple solution to that problem. And then it really gives a nice little look, obviously, you know, a, a little bit of a different thing. I guess you could do this with the 501st speeder too. It's the same exact speeder. And you have these extra stud shooters, but yeah, I feel like it really adds a value to this type of build and then plus on top of that you could put your crosshair your customized crosshair with all his firestar toy arm printing on the speeder bike and he could zoom off obviously very epic now let's get into the next design now this next one is a super simple fix that i recommend everyone do uh now this was an idea from not sam smith so i'll credit him in the comments down below or in the description down below uh but for those who know the biggest gripe that nearly everyone has with this set is picking it up. You cannot pick it up by the fin, which is just stupid. Uh, and that is because of these two bricks right here. See these two tiles? That is solely because of them. So what you're going to want to do is first remove these tiles, like so. And then you're just going to want to find any, like I put, I just put gray down, but you get, I find the bluish color and you, really any color. I think this works fine because it kind of matches with this whole scheme. And then all you have to do is just push it down. And like so, you could pick it up. Isn't that insane? And then even if you want, you could put these bricks down here. I think they work really well. Anywhere on this side, I think that looks really good. I actually want to show you guys a better demonstration. So again, I'd just like to demonstrate how effective this is. It's again on an eye display stand, and I worry still like that it's going to fall off. But it does not. It, it works really well. And then you could just place it back down like so. If I just wiggle it on because it's a little hard to see with the one hand on camera and everything. Uh, but yeah, that's a really great building strategy. Everyone do that. Even if you're like a pretty purist with Legos, I think that's just a great way to, you know, fix the set and, and it make it so much better. Everyone, please do that. It's just two simple bricks. That's it. Now, the next build actually involves one of Omega over here's friends and this is az1000 obviously a pretty important character from the beginning and final episodes of the bad batch show and seeing as he's going to be probably a pretty essential part of the next season i wanted to show you guys actually how to build him and where you can actually buy this it's like four or five bucks really great deal from rebel bricks i'll leave a code for my site it should be our studs uh in the video right here and in the link down below so if you want to buy this you could feel free i think it's a great little design and i actually want to show you the pieces it could take that for you to make so these are all the pieces you are going to need um so you could take a look and see if you have these in your collection they are pretty simple so i'll do a quick walkthrough on putting this together you can follow along if you're not or skip to the timestamp down below uh but yeah so i'll be building that now so first off obviously you just build this nice piece right here and then after that you just put this one down this is the you know two by two round piece and then after that you're going to want to put this down upside down and then you could put you know on all the added details like so and then after that it's really simple to do the arms you just do these little pegs right here uh they're really quite simple uh, and all you have to do is do the peg and then pop in the arm and then you just pop in the other one like so and then also if you want to do the backpack like this it could be in green but it doesn't have to be uh, and then all you have to do is that piece uh, now moving on from that obviously we have to move into a little stud so this is going to be upside down a stud with a hole in it um and, and i think i don't think the hole part is too necessary uh, but but I, th I think it's a good you know rule of thumb just to have just in case uh, and then after that actually you're going it, it you're going to want to have it like this 
and then after that you're just going to attach these bricks like these guys and again it's a little hard to narrate with these as you're building a lego set you know you guys know how that is but then you're gonna want to take another one of these pieces and just attach the yellow piece for the eyes we'll save that for later uh, because first we need to do the side little stud things uh, so you're gonna want these gray pieces and i guess you could do this in a different color and i've seen a few other models that are good this one just happens to be the one i gravitated more, most to and again if you use that code down there you could save like five 10% off your order, which is great. And like so, you have AZ. So if you want to build that in your collection, you know, you get this great little droid. It's on scale with the figures. I think it's just a cute little build. Uh, now let's move into the next customization you could do. So the next part actually involves us with the inside again, and you have to pick up this piece, and then you will notice there is that whole crate area down there. Uh, so what you could do for this is make this a little extra area for you to sit down your Omega figure. Now, first off, you're going to obviously have to move out these pieces, so you'll take all of that out, and you even just take this piece out, and all you have to do is leave this, and you could even put the bar back if you want to, and you put a brick in there. For this intense of this video, I am not going to be doing that. Uh, but th let me show you actually how it looks. Now, since all my guys have their backpacks on, it wouldn't work too well. But when you want to have all the regular figures without that on, uh, you can also squeeze in Omega back here, which is great, and I really like that. And also, you know, if you don't want to build an Omega for whatever reason. There's also a great area to put your gonk droid. And you could again pile up or, you know, take off or put on whatever pieces in there you really want. None of it's seriously structural. Uh, but all of it works and you could close it and it will close down just fine. No problems whatsoever. You can still pick it up with that new clamp you got on there. And let's get into the next build idea. Now here's actually another tip from Sanders 3 Studios. Uh, and this is in regards to the blasters back here. Now you will notice that in the show, the blasters uh, go alongside the you know blaster you know shooting area up here. Uh, but for some dumb reason, they are all the way down here. Now I'm going to be showing you how to fix this. And again, huge thank you to him. I'll credit him in the description. Now let's show you how to do that. Now first off, you want to take off this sticker sheet and with all these little things, namely so that way you could lift up the top half of the fin. So next up, you obviously have to take out the stud blasters that are resembling the little turret, and all you have to do is just take that piece that they were attached to, put that back in, and you can also add this piece right here. Next up, you are going to want to take these pieces off, as well as this piece with the gray, as well as the light gray under this piece. Put this part in, and this part in, after that, you're going to want to take off that gray part you took off earlier and put this part back on, as well as this whole contraption right here. Then you, all you have to do is revisit your shuttle with your brand new modded fin and put these parts back in and then close it up. And then for some even more added extra fun, uh, you could add these lightsaber hilts right here to the end of those, just so that way they're more visible. And you get a better look at the whole cockpit for Omega. And finally, I'd like to recommend some other small details, like taking a yellow stud and connecting it so you get a full light on switch. And I'd recommend doing that with all the fins, so I got two others so you could do that with this fin just to make it feel more well-rounded and i will pull up this fin as well and hopefully that will focus which it has which is great and then you have a fully studded out light switch thing for your bad batch shuttle i think with that all said and done the bad batch shuttle is looking pretty spiffy and I think obviously the biggest improvement we did was fixing that fin because that was the only thing I felt to begin with from keeping this from being a real 10 out of 10 set. And I will say I'm extraordinarily proud of the figure selection we got going here. Uh, from AZ to Crosshair, I think I just nailed it, not to pat myself on the back too hard, but I am really just proud of the way all of these guys look together. Uh, and I know you guys really did like them in the last video. And I just think with the Bad Batch Shuttle all modded together, this just makes for an all around great set. And I think, you know, just having them like this makes it feel so much better. But with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things. Also check out all of the people in the description who design these things. I am not a creative person, so I could not come up with most of this, but I do want to credit where credit is due. And also thank you to Rebel Bricks for the beautiful little AZ build. So with that said, I'll see you guys later. Remember, peace out and stay awesome.